Hello and welcome back Josh, Sam and anyone else who's watching to Lviv and Let Die. It's my 300th game as manager and we are about to play the Tavria uh, and also uh, Club Nacional de Madeira. But let's see the fixtures first because things have happened. Right, so uh, following on from our cup win, uh, we drew Carpate in the quarterfinal which will be played in uh, January, February, March, April next year. Um, uh, we followed that up with a 2-0 win over Dinamo Kiev, Big Sev. Dynamo Kiev, Big Seb scoring two headers, I think, um, to down them. Uh, we then played away at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the Tottenham Stadium, and we won 3-1. Uh, we went 1-0 down. Uh, this guy is excellent. He's 32-ish, yes, and um, a really, really good player. He's on more money a week than I think we're paying <laughs> our squad a week. Um uh, by about three times. Uh, we then equalised immediately afterwards from a corner. Uh, Michal, uh, Mikhailo Spack scored an absolute stunner uh, to put us ahead. And then Daniel Rosic absolutely blatted one in on the 92nd minute uh, to put us 3-1 up, which means that actually our group looks like this. Spurs have already qualified. We are level on points with Barcelona, who beat uh, or who drew their la no who beat their last game uh, Nacional de Madeira. Uh, so what we have to do now is beat Nacional and hope that uh, Barcelona lose to Spurs. I think if we get a win, they lose. Uh, well, no, there's no way that we can qualify here unless like because uh, basically there's no way we can qualify because. Uh, our last game against Barcelona, so so we need to beat them and hope that then we can uh, hold out against Barca in the next game, um, and yeah, and then after that we beat uh, Arsenal Kiev three one, two goals from Daniel Rosic and another one from Big Seb, puts us in fourth in the league table. Um, we are still far away from the league top, the top of the league rather, the league top, um, but actually we're only seven points away now um Kruv Bas and Shakhtar I think both lost in the last games um so that means that the gap is closing and we're playing the bottom of the table team who's only won once all season uh, we have their star center back from last season in our squad uh, I'm hoping that we can uh, push on and maybe challenge again for the title and uh, we'll have to see um because I think we've got one more game against each of these top three here um so that can give us some points back on them. They'll also have to play each other and hopefully they'll draw. And uh, you never know. You never know what could happen. But I, I feel like we're now well placed to go into the second half of the season and try and just uh, really rein in those two those two or three at the top. Um, obviously, first we have to beat Tavria, uh, Simferopol, I think they're from, uh, which is now part of Russia, if you uh, go by that sort of thing. Um, I'm taking out Lasha Gugua. Uh, Mahmoud Mahmoud is on international duty, so we'll put in Mladenovic. And for Gugua, we'll bring in Bernal. Um, I'm going to sell D Dude or Didi in the next uh, transfer window. I've decided that. Uh, he's not playing any games, doesn't really add anything to the team. Um, and yeah, at the moment, we're playing pretty well as we do. So we'll leave things as they are. Fabri has now recovered from his injury, but. Oh, sorry, I meant to do that. But we have been playing well with Stefan Barsan at the back recently. In fact, in his last five games, he's been playing a nearly an eight rating. Uh, his overall rating is up now to 6.94. So we're hoping that we can continue that good form and uh, leave the team settled, especially as we move into the game against Nacional. Um, this is my 300th game in management for uh, Lviv. Uh, obviously, I've had many more games in management uh, outside of Ukraine. But 300 in Ukraine, we've won one title, we've won one Super Cup. And we're about to potentially <laughs> qualify from the uh, group stages of the Champions League. That's a long way off, though. We'd have a lot of work. And that looked like a penalty to me as well. It looked like he uh, got tackled from behind, but whatever. Big Seb goes past his man. Lovely interception there. Big Seb cuts it back in, but nobody was able to get in there. They play in this weird square um, square ground. Uh, which is like really long and really wide, I think. It's very strange. Um, anyway, don't uh, like the look of it. It looks strange. Um, all my players look tiny as well. Big Seb gets through again, but good save. Uh, Nazarenko, Dishback, Nazarenko. Um, I'm torn between what I want because I obviously want to qualify from the uh, Champions League group stages. 
Uh, that said, I wouldn't mind dropping into the Europa League because I feel like the Europa League, we'd have much more of a chance of actually continuing the European run. Whereas I feel like if we got into the uh, Champions League, oh, it's, oh, if we got into the Champions League group stage uh, knockout rounds, I feel like we'd immediately get nobbled by whichever team we play. Um, so there's question marks up in the air about what would be best, I suppose, from a footballing sense, but I guess from sort of sensibly it does make sense to try and qualify uh, through my idea my, the ideal situation i guess would be to beat madeira and then lose to barcelona so that means we would guarantee third place and depending on how they uh, separate teams in the champions league i can't remember um rosic puts the ball past the post that's unfortunate pekaric now Lovely head from Barsan. Again, lovely head from Barsan. Lovely ball on. And Kubistel. Kubistel scores. And we are 1-0 up against Tavria Simferopol. We are still in fourth. But we are getting closer to these top few play, top few teams. Shakhtar are already winning. But um, where are they? Are they playing today? Krivbas are drawing with Govela. Juric now out to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, big ball up to Kubistel, and he is now free to cross the ball in if he wants. He gives it to Laban, who gives it to Spack. Spack oh, is still on his ridiculous uh, run of form. Uh, he didn't score in the last game, uh, surprisingly, but yeah, he's he's been on excellent form this season. The goal against uh, Spurs, by the way, he, he picks the ball up here, comes this way, and then cuts the ball across him, and it loops into the top corner. It's absolutely delightful. Um, Benko. So yeah, he's, a, he's I mean he's a proper proper local legend in my opinion. Scores basically the winner against Tottenham Hotspur in Tottenham's ground. Uh no FC Lviv team has ever done that before. That's definitely the biggest result in our history except for possibly the oh oh ah, possibly the uh, away draw at Barcelona would count. Um went down like he'd been shot. <laughs> possibly the away draw with Barcelona might count as a uh, more of a more of a big result. Uh, and obviously we've also won the league. Ooh, Stubie, 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 Stubie. Oh, Stubie. Fancy seeing you here. Nazarenko goes for the... Oh, it's gone out for a throw for them. Oh, come on. v poor, v poor. Okay. Gonzalez now has the ball, puts it into Rosic, who's been in some good form himself. I think he's got four goals, or maybe even, uh, maybe it's only three uh, in his last few games. Oh, a nice little dummy there from our midfielder. Kalmar to Stilbe. He's uh, hit the ball high and wide. <clears throat> Nazarenko puts the ball in. We have the ball still. Oh, he plucked that one out of the air, did Pekaric. Nazarenko puts the ball in, hits the crossbar. And now they've given away a penalty. What on earth happened there? Was it a was it a push? Big Seb gonna looking to score his second penalty in two games. Come on, Big Seb. Oh, Big Seb. Just having a little tippity tappity tippity tappity away. Um, my colleague has found a strange little bit of our process, which he doesn't like. Oh, the ball goes over the bar from Bartik. One nil win, one nil lead. Looking fairly comfortable, but it's still it's still precarious. You're only one goal away from suddenly being in a bit of a stressful situation. Um, I'm hoping that we can capitalise a bit more on some of our more... Than, was that someone looking... Oh, no, I thought it said someone looking disinterested. Uh, I'm happy with your performance, but I don't like that Daniel Rosic is playing complacently. You weren't that bad. Assertive, you weren't that bad. And I'm going to say to these guys calmly, 
they did he did score ah, aggressive hopefully the, uh, he looks delighted i mean he's looking complacent and delighted complacently delighted tafili tafilil tafili tafili fucking hell man come on labant labant back to jurich golovchenko to labant and then to Kubistel again. Kubistel goes round one, goes round two, puts the ball into the side netting. I'm thinking to maybe change his name to Taffy Lee. Um, because then I'll actually definitely be able to remember how to say it. Adrian Stubier, Stube. He needs to get out. I don't like that name. It's hard for me to say. Anyway, Gonzalez now with a free kick to Golovchenko. To Spak, back to Golovchenko. Again to Spak. Kubitzel, oh, if he just like tapped in Daniel Royach, Royach would have been good. I, I say everyone's name different times every single time I say them, uh, except for Nazarenko, who puts the ball into Gonzalez and Gonzalez scores. That's lovely stuff. Juan, Can Juan Carlos Gonzalez, they said his name twice different ways, even in the same sentence. Yeah, I'm going to do it now. Interaction, set nickname Taffy Lee. Barshan's not playing well, so maybe let's bring on Fabri uh, just to shore up our defence, make sure that we don't uh, let in any sort of dodgy equalisers. Gonzalez has been playing very well since we brought him into the first team fold. Nikolov, they've made a change as well. What's their formation looking like? Um, yeah, they're, oh, okay, they're playing very narrow down the middle, yet somehow... Whenever teams play like that, I never find that they've actually got space down the wing. It doesn't seem to. They seem to essentially. That's a uh, sort of the diamond midfield. But the 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 wing backs for these teams. Oh, they are playing quite high. They're playing very high. I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's essentially a three, four, three that they're playing. Sixty-five minutes gone. Sixty-seven minutes gone. All right, let's have a look what we can do to change things around because we do have this game against uh, Nacional coming up. Um, I think we take off. I think we do this mm, and this. Let's see how that goes down. Taffy Lee, that's much easier to see now. I can see that his name is Taffy Lee. Pick it up, fella. Actually, you probably weren't allowed to. Labant, big ball up to Kubistel. Kubistel, can he cross it in? No, he went himself for Pekaric to save. If we get in behind those wing backs, they uh, we do look pretty good. Gonzalez again now. Gonzalez, he's going to put it in the middle. He has, but Kubistel wasn't able to get there. It was cleared, and I think Nazarenko went for a shot there. <laughs> it's madman. It's okay though. Gonzalez now to Kubistel. Kubistel out to Nazarenko. Nazarenko big shot, and then Labant smashes into the side netting. Uh, unfortunate from a tight angle there. But uh, Nazarenko is getting pretty good at like he he occasionally scores now. Uh, he didn't score for his first sort of four seasons for us, but then he scored a couple, and they're always pretty stunning. Um, I like I like a good Nazarenko goal. Eighty five minutes gone. We're surely going to win this at this point. Are we going to get a third? Nazarenko puts the ball to the back post. Fabri. Oh, Gonzalez couldn't quite connect. That puts us up to fourth. Seven points clear. Uh, seven points behind. The leaders with 13 games to play. Okay. Uh, calm. Well done. 2 0 win away from home. Not bad at all. Cabistel scored. That's what we really, really like. Gonzalez was really good too. We've overtaken Olympic Donetsk, who have. Oh no, we haven't. We were already ahead of Olympic Donetsk, who have been overachieving all season anyway. Um, so yeah, not bad at all. Okay, so that's the first step in the season done. Viswa have sacked their manager. Um, being ninth in the extra classer, whereas Slansk, Slansk are still behind Polonia Vashala, that's a shame. Um, then Sheffield United have sat their boss, 16th, Exeter have sat their boss, West Ham have sat their boss, they're seventh. Okay, uh, Fleetwood have sat their boss, that makes more sense. Uh, Gonzalez on form for as, as we score an easy victory. 
excellent stuff from Gonzalez. He's been playing really, really well since we brought him into the team. Now, the key here is can we do it away at uh, Madeira? We really needed to hang on and win that game at home. But we got a vital point. Now, the key thing is can we just do one more sensational away result? If, if, we, can, if we can beat them, then we put ourselves in the driver's seat for, for qualifying through to the next uh, stage. To be honest, I think if we draw with them, we'll probably do that. If we lose, then we're in a little bit of a struggle because we're already on five. I think if we draw, that puts us out of reach for uh, Madeira to overtake us again. So, I th yeah, I think what we just need now is a chunky old one point. Just the one, just the one wee, wee little point. The Brunby boss has resigned. Um, where's he taking over? Oh, he's taking over as Denmark manager. No, I don't want the Brunby, Brunby job. Deny, in, deny interest, Brunby. If I was going to take over a club here, it would either be... I mean, Randers have a beautiful badge. Um, it's that nice horse. Oldborg, um, they're the team that I've been told I should take over one day. Um, but we've also who else have we got down here? Ballarup. I mean, I've lived, I've briefly stayed in Ballarup and uh, Glostorp as well. Um, so they would be, they could be fun places to go and take over. What a terrible, terrible badge though. So we'll probably ignore that. Sem, they're only semi-pro, founded in two thousand and nine, and they're in the third, div second division East. I fancy that not. Thank you. What else is going on in the world of football then? So I'm not interested in the Brunby, which will give me some... Yeah, Leviva, delighted with me for that. Uh, Iranian striker Neder Maradi. He's actually all right. Leading Premier League striker. I could approach to sign him for 1.4 million. Let's try what they suggested, 400,000. Um, okay, yeah, Rosic, he's doing well, yes, we know that. Um, backroom advice meeting, oh, for God's sake. Right, what do they say? Not happy with training, needs to get stronger, fine. Do better at passing, yeah, why not? And now, here we go. They expect a low cup turnout for 3,000 tickets, holy shit. <laughs> um, I don't want to play him. They're a good team, but I back my team to do well. I'm confident. We take it one game at a time. Uh, we'll wait and see. The Ukrainian Player of the Year award. Well, I mean, it has to be Mikhailo Shpak because he's even on that list, which is insane. Um, has actually Shpak... I wonder if he's played... I don't know if he's actually played for the uh, national side yet. If not, I don't know why not. He's been in sensational form. <laughs> But the, the the national side probably has an actual good player there rather than just this weirdly overachieving lad. But that weirdly overachieving lad is going to get to play in Portugal now against Nacional de Madeira, assuming he's fit. All right, what's going on here? Uh, pressure grows on the Real Madrid boss, who are they are eighth. Unbelievable. <laughs> good lord, what happened to Betis? Betis won the league way back when as well. Who's been winning the league here? Oh, it's been. Oh, Rio Vallecano has been uh, doing pretty well. They actually were well, runner up three years in a row. So strange. Anyway, uh, Inter boss also under fire. Um, and Maya Zatuni uh, re retired this summer uh, as Inter boss, having won pretty much everything with them. Uh, Six hundred thousand. Do we think that's too much? Let's go down to five hundred. See if we can meet them in the middle. If we can't, then we can't, and I won't bother pursuing it because he's not that good anyway. Uh, and here we go. So Swindon have already qualified, um, as have Juventus. Um, so they're battling out for top spot, I think. Although actually, Juventus might have already qualified, uh, might have already won the league. We have to beat Nacional and hope that Spurs can do us a favour against Barca. Or really, to be honest, we just need to hope that Spurs can do us a favour against Barca, and we need to avoid defeat. That's essentially what the what the lay of the land at the moment. Um, Bakor can't play. He can't play, so I'll bring in Mamut. Lots of players with only with yellow with only one yellow card away from being 
ineligible, but hey, let's try this anyway. Taffy Lee, like he's our own Sammy Lee, but he's the Albanian Sammy Lee. All right, uh, calmly. Good luck, lads. Calmly, I think there's a lot more to come. Calmly, I think there's a lot more to come. A lot more to come. Nacional de Madeira. They're playing a 4-4-2, although apparently they're pending tactical changes already. Uh, we've already drawn 3-3 with them at home. Great save from Taffy Lee to start after 46 of those beautiful seconds. Big save clears, although only as far as Silipo. Uh, they're looking dangerous to start with. Oh, Spack has given a foul away, and he has just been reprimanded and gets booked. That's good. Oliveira's going to shoot. No, he's not. And the ball goes straight through to Taffy Lee. Jurich now to Labant. We're going to build the build the play nicely. Out to Rosic. Rosic, can he give it again? He goes himself. He goes himself and scores two minutes in. And Rosic has put that ball in the back of the Madeira net. And we are currently in pole position to come second in this group. We have blown the doors of this group wide open. That is a sensational bit of football. Uh, we just need to get a second now because I think they're going to come back strong. Oh, great save from Taffy Lee. We now need to keep an eye on that Barcelona result. Oh, Panucci heads over the bar. Barcelona are still nil-nil with Spurs. A win for Spurs could really, really put the cat amongst many multiple pigeons. But Barcelona have scored against Spurs at the new Camp. Of course, they have to come to the 6,000-seater Lviv Stadium uh, in the in the final game to, to decide who goes into what competition. But if we could... I mean, imagine if we beat Barcelona into, <laughs> into the Europa League. It'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Rosic has got, been put through. Rosic has been put through. Rosic has put wide. Unfortunate. But Lviv, because I assume we drew away? Or is it goal difference? Uh, we are still ahead of Barcelona anyway. Not sure why. Uh, but we'll find out if they start to score some more goals. Uh, yeah, Plantinho has scored again. So they are 2-0 up now. Oh, and we have, equal we have conceded an equaliser. Uh, that's a dangerous position to be in because Nacional needs to... Uh, <sighs> Nacional would then still be in the hunt for qualification. That's not what we want at all. Gonna have some tea. Taffy Lee holds. Jurich. Kubistel has been set free, given room to run into, but they tackle nicely and no one was following up in support, so they're starting to break away now. Kessler. Kessler. Gonzalez. Nice clearance. Great save from Taffy Lee. Rosic now. Rosic is running wild. Goes round all the way round. Spack, Labant, oh, Spack, we wanted it to be Spack. Here he goes again, oh, it would have been a beauty, but it's not to be. Barcelona are still winning 2-0. Uh, with things as they are, we could obviously do with Spurs come back, coming back in the second half there, but that's unlikely. Uh, they're playing nervously. Um, so tell them I'm pleased, but then I'm going to assertively say there's a lot more to come. Exactly the same team talk as I make every time. Couple of them looking nervous. Rosic is playing with confidence. That's good to see. Lviv kick off. Nazarenko gives it to Rosic now. It's good that we're getting chances still. Labant at the back post was out jumped, and now they're springing a counter attack. Panucci forced to go backwards. Oliveira forced to go wide. Bilal Chetin gives it back to Branco. Back to Oliveira. They're building it nicely. Kessler. Ahmed Babu and a good save. It was a lovely move. I'll ag agree with you there, Mr. Football Manager Text. Nazarenko hits the ball over the bar. Ben gets a text. It's the classic Football Manager video. And it's Masha. What's Masha doing? Hi, hey, Masha. You okay? No. Uh, yeah, in like 10, 15 minutes. All right. Could be still back to Jurich. Golovchenko to Spack to Rosic. Rosic has scored, but that's been called offside. I mean, that must be marginal. That must be marginal. Barcelona have scored a third. You can see there. Yeah, Carlos Daniel has scored. Big Seb gets a stern telling off. 
Juric to Golovchenko. But I mean, I think that he was onside, but we'll have to just let it go for now. Branko gets the yellow card. Stanic, oh, strange little ball there. 61 minutes gone. We might have to think about making a change. Big ball in from Kessler, but Taffy Lee holds nicely. Taffy Lee puts it back out to Juric. To Labant. Labant again to Kubistel. Kubistel, could he give it to Big Seb? He could. Big Seb has a shot, but Stanich saves. It's a bit end to end at the moment. Silpo. Panucci now. Panucci is tackled by Barshan. Absolutely brilliant. What is going on here then? Golovchenko is not playing well. Maybe let's bring on St. Bernard. Barshan is also not playing well, apparently. Um, let's do that. Fabry can come in. See how that changes things for us. Two defensive changes to attempt to uh, keep things a little tighter at the back. Uh, Rosic now manages to turn away from his man beautifully. He's got the opportunity. He's got there's a man in the middle there. Oh, I mean, it claims he shot. I'm not sure whether that was just a poor cross. But anyway, Nazarenko puts the ball in the middle. Gonzalez again could have been the hero for a second game in a row, but no. Uh, Barcelona still winning 3-0 against Spurs. Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And now Fabri has the ball on the edge of the box. Spack. Spack hits the ball over. Oh, we all want Spack to score. We all want Spack to score. We all want Spack to score. Okay, we're going to do this. Laban comes off for Tuamazi. Kessler now wins the ball in the air, but Fabri's there to get it back. Laban to draw. Good Lord, what a strike from Kessler. That's not good. That puts them above us. <sighs> that puts them above us, I assume, on head-to-head -head record. Which means we would need to get something out of the Barcelona game. Oh, this game has turned this game has taken a turn that I do not like. Big Seb heads it down to Rosic. Rosic. Tuomasi scores an absolute stunner. Tuomasi scores an absolute stunner and he's delighted. Great strike. That's an equaliser there. Unbelievable. And whilst everything was looking pretty poor before, we are now looking good. We're the top scorers in this group, unbelievably. Um, Tuomasi, absolute stunner. Right in the top corner there. Pick that one out. And now suddenly qualification looks all rosy again. We need to hold on to this lead. We need to get a point. We need to do better. We need to keep them away from us because we now have to go and bring Barcelona back to Lviv. Oh, Spack has given away a free kick. He's a yellow card. Three minutes to go, plus stoppages. Oliveira, big ball. Bilal Chetin, he heads it in the net, but he was offside. Thank you, the bar at the bottom, for not flashing. Because occasionally it flashes when they score, even if it is offside. Whoa, they've had the ball back in the net. Spack was let off there. Two minutes of added time. Two minutes of added time. We've we've come away with a creditable 2-2 draw. And that, my friends, is an excellent result. That means that we are probably going through, probably, but not definitely, going through to the next round. Uh, we'll probably be in Europe after Christmas, which is just insane. Uh, Yari is going to take over at Sheffield United, who are not doing well in the Premier League this year. Um... That is a good result. Excellent goal from Tuomazi there. Excellent goal. There's only 3,600 people there to watch it. <laughs> um, absolutely brilliant goal. They had their 88th minute strike question. But we also had one of our efforts question be talked off. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, Borovkov. Who, who are you? Why are you so upset? You're in the under-21s, mate. What about loan? Would you like a loan? Can I say loan? All right, there you go then. Oh, off of the clubs. No loan. There you go. I did my I did my bit. Right. Post match presser. It was a disallowed goal for your team. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Players worked their socks off. Stefan was really impressive. He did do pretty well. How good is he, Stefan Kessler? Oh, I mean, he's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> he's a great player <laughs> if you have goals disallowed I point my finger firmly at the officials I 
take a much too big gulp of tea, uh, which leaves everybody reeling. Um, so now the question is, do we play those two games in the camera to see? Yes, of course we do. We're going to play Barcelona and Obolon because that will give us the opportunity to sort of bounce back um, morale-wise. <laughs> um, if we uh, don't have such a success in Europe. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video, continuing our excellent run of form, except for that 2-1 loss to Spurs. We are undefeated, uh, domestically at least, uh, since September, so that's not bad. Uh, we've come through two games with Nacional and not lost. We've come through one game so far with Barcelona and not lost. Uh, and now we just need to beat Denit Pro, who right above us in the table. They've already beaten us this season 4-3. and We need to beat them, drag them back down to our level. We'll go above them if we win that one and then another one. Fairly redundant phrase, really. But yeah, so we'll see you for the next couple of games then, guys. Bye.